You know, most would say it's gay. I'm gonna say real men wear pink. And honestly, you know, if you're really in touch with yourself, you are a little fruity at times. So that has to be a reality we're willing to face. Now, I have told you guys many times that I've been looking for a pink Porsche for quite some time. For like seven plus months, I've been looking for this exact color car. This is called Ruby Star and it's gorgeous. It's probably the prettiest Porsche color I've ever seen in my life. As a matter of fact, if you have a Ruby Star GT3 RS, you can sell me, like the new one, I will pay you 180K over MSRP, which is 50K more than what market value is currently. Because this, especially if it's a good option car, I don't want no poverty cars with no PCCDs and stuff, but I really want one of these in a GT3 RS because I think it's gotta be glorious. So I wanna show you something. There's a line of, of paints, I wanna show you this. This is the blue Glocko from Lamborghini and you can see the same hue in the Tiffany. It's basically a non-metallic looking paint where you can't see the brush strokes and it's just fantastic, like absolutely gorgeous. And this is the same variation in a gray, which many of us are accustomed to, Nardo. These Type of paints have become very popular and are honestly gorgeous, but Ruby Star is by far one of my favorites. So this Targa 4S, I actually bought completely modified. Shout out to my friends at Graham. Uh, Scott over there hooked me up with this. Really, really nice guy. They've been great dealership to do business with. We've now done multiple cars together. Uh, they also sold me my purple GT3 Touring, you guys may have remembered. So fantastic group of people and really, really thorough dealership. But when they told me they had a pink Porsche for me, I said, okay, it's gotta meet a couple of requirements. And this car basically had everything it could want except one thing and this thing drives me nuts but we're gonna talk about it so this is a Targa 4 GTS uh, and it's Ruby Star and look at this incredible interior absolutely stunning exclusive manufacturing interior in black and white and of course it's six-speed yeah thanks to seven-speed whatever we call them six-speed so if you call car seven-speed you're no pun intended anything you don't need seven gears like who needs it why are you laughing Reggie why, why are you gonna ruin my review like that no, it's not okay because look, why do you need seven speeds? Like for, for fuel, who gives a shit if you're cruising in seven for fuel consumption? Like, why do I care? Like I didn't buy a pink Porsche, so I give a shit what it costs to put gas in it. But anyways, so this is basically one of those cars where the top is a rack top, you already blah, blah, blah. You can look up the reviews on Targa's, who gives a shit? So it has a lot of really, really good options. And I'm gonna tell you what you need if you're buying a Targa. The first one is you need the design tail lights. That's a big thing. That was one of my things. You need all of this plastic shit done in black paint from the factory, super, super top notch. Carbon mirrors, even better, wasn't even expected. Full leather, inside out, two-tone, bellissimo, right? Everything flawless. The best headlights, the best interior, the best leather packs, the best color, all of the options, and you have a whooping MSRP of $230,000 for a Target 4 GTS, which is about 40,000 more than the average Target 4 GTS on the market. But you don't have this one fucking thing that I absolutely need with all of my cars. And I just have to have it. It doesn't have ceramic brakes. And I hate steel brakes. And I'm gonna tell you why. If you're me and you're so OCD with your cars and you just hate dirty stuff, well, when you put beautiful anarchy wheels like this and suspension and exhaust and you get such an incredible driving experience, these steel brakes destroy everything. And the reason they destroy everything is because they put dirt all over the wheel every time. So every time you drive the car, you get dirt on the wheels. Every time you wash the car, you get rust and then dirt on the wheels. So it's like literally impossible to put a beautiful set of anarchies like this and literally keep them clean. But other than that, there couldn't be a more flawless car and this was built right. The right suspension, the right wheels, the right finish, the right acropivic exhaust, and even down to this very small tweak I wanna show you here. This is very necessary. The cup holder on the side, this is not factory. This person actually built this right. They put the couple on the side. And can you guess why? Because when you shift into your six gear or anything else, your hand keeps hitting the cup holder if you have a cup in it. So it's just completely pointless cup holder on every manual car. And this guy nailed that. He tinted the car, came out perfect. And this is now one of my absolute favorite daily drivers of all time. Now the argument is, well, it's not fast enough. A GT3 is faster and this is faster. So if you're a giant like me and you don't drive six times the speed limit 
and you like pink cars, then you technically don't really care that a car gets zero to 60 in one second or not because you're never using it. What you care about is the incredible experience and the fun of driving. This is controllable, it's beautiful, it's got every single possible option except those fucking ceramic brakes missing, and it is the most exciting drive ever as it pertains to a daily cool car. If I had to choose and I was on a budget, like a, what I call a poverty budget, where I couldn't afford more than one car or two cars, I would have this car in my garage because I think it's spectacular. I get more thumbs up for this. Now, I don't know if I get thumbs up from old dudes because they're trying to fuck me or not, but I'm saying I get more thumbs up for it. Did I, have I actually ever gotten a thumbs up from a chick in this? Yeah, I think I got one thumbs up for a chick once, but yeah, I'm gonna have to re re reconsider that about like why these old dudes give me thumbs up. Maybe uh, maybe they have ulterior motives. Anyways, like, we're, we're gonna, why are you laughing again, Reggie? I'm just saying the old white guy when the middle of Boca Raton sees me, he's like, hey, with a smile. I don't, I don't know, maybe he's like trying to tell me something. I thought for a long time it was for the car, but maybe not. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's just awkward. You know, like I gotta reconsider. Every time I'm getting a thumbs up, I'm not gonna give him a fuck you. <laughs> I'm mean, just flick him off and be like, go oh, another person somewhere else. But anyways, so this is the latest Target 4 GTS to join the permanent collection. And I promise you, this one's not going anywhere because I adore this car. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We're kind of getting weird in this review. So anyways, we're going to go to just having uh, Reggie here show you guys the car. And listen, this is why Exotic Car Hacks is so incredible because 2024 has already started. A lot of our students had some killer record numbers last year in hacking cars and more than anything else they've been able to get some sick year in deals but there are still a huge opportunity in 24 to get in the right car no longer lose money learn the strategies learn how to finance it correctly don't fall victim to any dealer games and continue to learn from this channel by liking subscribing and of course commenting letting me know how incredible this pink looks and do I look good wearing pink or what and then finally, guys, don't forget, you can always learn. It's never too late. Learn to no longer lose money on any car. And in many cases, learn to turn a profit when owning your dream car. And no, we're not talking about rentals. No, we're not talking about shipping your car to Miami. No, we're not talking about Turo. We're talking about you learning real wealth principles that enable rich people like me to drive shit like this time and time again, all of this stuff and never losing a dollar. You gotta learn how to actually do that. So as you get richer and richer, you know how to handle your money. It's more of a financial class than anything else, but more than anything else, you can click the link in the description. If you don't know what car hacking is, you've been living under a rock or haven't seen me teach this for the last 10 plus years, Click the first link, learn how to hack cars, it's free. Once you get interested enough, join the community, it's not that expensive, and get access to 20,000 plus people who are doing just that. And we're an incredible family and we'd love to have you guys join us, okay? So like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and more importantly, let me know how good do I look wearing pink. I'll catch you next time for another episode of Exotic Car Hacks. You know, everyone knows me as this car guy. I'm a big car collector, I love cars, and more importantly, they know me for making good decisions, gaining in and out of cars in order to maximize my return. But what if I told you that one of the ways I was able to buy all these cars has been by trading watches? But I'm not here to tell you about my other company, Watch Trading Academy. Instead, I'm here to tell you about a question I get asked at Watch Trading Academy a lot, which is, how do you sell watches confidently and more importantly, in a safe manner online? Simply put, I use this company called Grailsy. It is a safe and very transparent way to sell a watch online. Not only do they handle the whole transaction from A to Z, but they make it safe for both the buyer and the seller. And because they really cater to real buyers and not just other watch traders, as a seller, you're always getting a great premium on a watch, especially when you're selling it. And as a buyer, you never know when you can find a great deal. So definitely check them out uh, at grailz.com. They're an incredible company and they've been the best place to safely buy and sell luxury watches. Grailsy, buy and sell iconic timepieces.